may think you've seen all this animal affection before, and you're probably right, but some stories can fox you, and this one is no exception. For here in the Warwickshire countryside, farmer Leslie Clues can always rely on a helping hand in his drive towards efficiency. <laughs> Mickey the Chimp was the first non-paying resident of Mr. Clue's farm, but he's not alone anymore. Now there's a whole host of creatures enjoying the sweet life here, and even Lenny the Leopard can forget his jungle instincts when he makes the daily dinner round with young Terry Clues. There's no danger that Lenny might take a sudden fancy to a nice pork chop, for Mr. Clues has gained his confidence so much that Lenny is often to be found wandering around inside the farmhouse. No leopard skin rugs in his home, just the real thing instead. When it comes to farm work, young Mickey certainly deserves a top farmhand salary. He's up at dawn to help with the daily duties, so there's no reason to accuse him of ducking out of work. There we are, quite the experienced worker. And if he can't be paid, then he certainly deserves a big hand. It's a real family business. When Brian goes off on a roundup, George the tree monkey likes to shoulder some of the responsibility. But these are sites which few visitors come and see, for Mr. Clue's private zoo is not open to the public. Talk about the milk of monkey kindness, Mickey's always willing to help out at feeding time, for when those baby badgers have had their fill, he needs no invitations to take over. Now he won't get any more work done, and what we want to see is a bit of action.